Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video in the series where I'm going to be taking you through a 16 week process of going from basically wherever you are right now to being a profitable trader. If you haven't seen the first video in the series, make sure to go and hit that little icon up in the corner where you can go and watch it. Um, it's, it's more of an introduction around what the series is, what it's meant for, and how you're supposed to watch these videos. Because if you're coming from, you know, 16 weeks in the future, let's say, and you're watching these when they're all been uploaded and you've seen every single video, you know, just go back, watch that week zero video and come back to this one afterwards. So this is week one. Um, if you want to keep up with the next 15 weeks after this one and make sure that you don't miss any of the videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see any specific um, style of video as well, whether you want to see videos like this where I'm just talking to you or you want to see videos where it's more me on the charts, me annotating charts, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments below and then also let me know um, what topics would you like me to do? So. Are there any kind of topics that you feel you struggle with and how would you want me to kind of present that to you and help you with it? Let me know down in the comments below as well. So this is week one. Today we are going to be doing some goal setting. The reason why I've put goal setting at week one is because you're all excited probably. You're, you're excited to get ready. You're eager to actually learn and put the work in and all that kind of stuff. So this is where you actually want to write down your goals and make them actually happen. So the, the main thing I would say with, with goal setting is to think big and never, never, never put a limit on that dream. Okay, don't think about how you're going to get that dream. Just write it down and actually put it on paper. Don't, don't think about how you're going to do it or don't think about the limitations of where you are right now. Whatever you want to do, just write that thing down. So write down 10, okay? Write down 10 goals. So once you've got your 10, all of them from most important to least important, going from, I don't know, you can do it from 10 being the most important to one being the least or the other way around. doesn't really matter. Just list them from, this is the goal I really, really, really want to accomplish to this is one where I'd be happy if I got it, but it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't accomplish this. So highlight the top three goals. Okay, so whatever those top three goals are, once you've ordered them, now just focus on those. Okay, so now I want you to open up a Trello board and on individual boards, write down those top three goals. So you should have three boards. Okay, goal one, goal two, goal three, and put them in there and find a relevant image for that goal and copy and paste it into the relevant boards. So let's say one of your goals was to have a Lamborghini, right? That was your second goal on your list. Find a picture of a Lamborghini that you like, copy it and then paste it into that board. So whatever those last seven are, okay, keep them on that list that you've written down but don't focus on them, okay? Don't focus on those ones just yet. Focus on those top three goals, the ones where you've put your images in and you've built your Trello board. Those are the ones that you're going to want to put the most time in, okay? The, the other seven will come eventually, but if you focus on those top three, the rest should follow afterwards or even happen whilst you're doing those top three goals. So now you've got your Trello board, You've got your top three goals and then you've got seven goals on a sheet of paper or something where you'd be happy to have them, but they're not your priority. Now, with those three top priority goals, write down 15 steps to accomplish those goals, okay? It has to be 15. Let's say it was get the Lamborghini. Write down 15 steps to get that Lamborghini. Okay, go onto the website, for example. Fill out the configuration if they have one. I don't know if they have one. Um, book the brochure. Talk to a salesperson. Go into the Lamborghini store. Test drive it. Um, all this kind of stuff. Build your Lamborghini. And you see, that was probably five or six steps, seven maybe. Put 15 steps. Okay. How much do you want to have in the bank? How much do you want to have for deposit? How much do you want to pay monthly? Do you want to pay it in cash? Do you want to pay monthly? Um, do you want it to be X percentage of your income? Do you want it to be coming from 
um, an income source in specific. So stocks, real estate, trading, jobs, whatever it wants to be, right? Write down 15 steps that you need to accomplish. And at the end of that 15 steps, you will have your Lamborghini guaranteed. Okay. So once you've done that, do that for your top three ones, okay? So you should have 45 steps, essentially. And once you've completed those 45 steps, you will have your top three goals. Very, very simple, okay? If you want to, you can put them down in the comments down below. Go, goal one is this, goal two is this, goal three is this. You don't have to put the 15 points, but just put the top three goals. It's going to help you to stay accountable. And also, if you see someone else commenting their top three goals, comment down below, go, hey, good luck. Um, wishing you best of luck with all your goals, you know, motivate each other, right? Because as soon as you put that out to the public, it's going to help you to be accountable for that. And then once you, once someone else comments on that, it's going to double down on that accountability. So, you know, if you really do want to take it serious, put them down in the comments below. I'll, I'll reply to every single one, give you some thoughts on uh, the goals that you guys put. I do uh, kind of, I'm not going to say what goals I would say are good goals but maybe the Lamborghini should be pushed down the list a little bit that's all I'm going to say so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see any style of videos or any topics you want me to improve on remember to hit that like button and remember traders trade happy